Now, monarch butterflies are making a comeback in the Mexican state of Michigan. For 20 years, their numbers have been falling, but they're now back on the rise. From Mexico, John Holman reports. Monarch butterflies in their winter home. Every year, millions travel from Canada and the northern United States to the forests of central Mexico. It's one of nature's longest mass migrations and one of the most precarious. But after years of serious decline, this season, numbers of monarchs in Mexico have more than tripled. Biologist Eduardo Rendon says both nature and man have helped the insects out. The climate has been very benevolent this winter, and this meant a lot more reproduction. As well, the public of the U.S. has helped to conserve and plant milkweed, which is the chief food source for the larva of the monarch butterfly. Milkweed is the key. Monarchs lay eggs along the migration route, and the plant serves both as nursery and food for their young before they continue their parents' journey south. That's why Canada, the U.S. and Mexico have mounted a campaign to get the plant back into gardens, farmland and schools along the route. Rocio and her class are doing their bit in northern Mexico. The basic idea, which the children are very enthusiastic about, is a food highway for the monarch butterflies from Canada to Michoacán. These tiny creatures really go on an incredible journey, two and a half thousand miles to get here. And they do it using an internal compass that guides them to a relatively small area of forest that they've never even seen before. The US government in particular has put more than $3 million into monarch conservation. But with numbers still way down from their peak 20 years ago, no one's getting carried away. I think it's really too early to declare it a success. Uh, we got to keep watching to see what's going to happen to the long-term population. And obstacles still lie ahead. Environmentalists say herbicides are the biggest danger. The problem is that farmers are using the herbicide Roundup, which Monsanto produces and which wipes out milkweed. The scientific data shows that from 1999 to 2010, the increase in the use of herbicides eliminated 58% of the milkweed in these places, and with it, 71% of the reproductive capacity of the monarch butterfly. That, among other factors, means it's too early to tell if we're seeing a comeback or just a short respite for the monarch butterfly. John Holman, El Rosario Butterfly Sanctuary, Mexico. Pro-marijuana activists in Washington, D.C. have staged a protest outside the White House. They're calling for the drug to be legalized and say President Obama has been too quiet on the issue. The use of marijuana.